Good morning, Juliana Bear. Good morning, guys. So, let's get you in your high chair. Ooh. Hi. Yeah, you see your breakfast already, huh? Well, I was doing my makeup, um, hoping that, you know, I just finished before Juliana started waking up and then she woke up right after I did my foundation and brows, so. Yeah, hi. Hi, hi guys, I'm having my breakfast. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. I just farted. Oh, that's scary. I don't know, I'm kind of scared to let her feed herself right now because she has a pretty dress on. And usually I like feeding her while she's still in her jammies, but she <laughs> leaked through her diapers. Bye, Dad. Hasta luego. Keep stealing my smoothies. How about mommy? Can I have some? Mm. 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 Oh, what was that? <laughs> Did you? It's okay. <laughs> Thanks to reading your guys' comments, there is a chance to save Benji sweater. And I've had this soaking in warm water and I put in some conditioner. Um, it's been sitting for a little over half an hour, so I think that's good. Okay, so it's soaked and it actually looks bigger already just because of the weight of the water and the conditioner. But I'm just going to stretch it out a bit. Thanks for the tip, guys. I got so many videos sent to me and links. I wish I knew this when I was in high school. I always dried and shrunk all my cute clothes. It looks like it returned to normal size. Who are you talking to? Mm -hmm. uh, Creepy. Mm -hmm. Creepy! Mm -hmm. Who are you talking to? You know, they do say that when a baby is like looking off somewhere or it looks like they're having a conversation, they're just talking to uh, one of your relatives that's in another life. Okay, baby, let me see. Let me get a hanger. Actually, I decided to just hang it on our uh, shower so that Juliana can't get a hold of it. Chocolate milk, yo. So this chocolate milk is made by the same company that makes uh, Juliana and Judy's milk. Dutch chocolate milk is so good. I didn't even know that Dutch made such good chocolate milk. Just went on a six mile run. Didn't beat my last time, but still was a good run. I was yelling and hacking and, you know, yesterday I posted something on my Instagram, which is Benjamin Food, because someone stole my name. Um, and some of you said you like it when I post things about my run, because it inspires you. Well, I'm glad it does, because guess what? When I see other people doing things that are, you know, uh, more extreme than what I do, or above and beyond what I do, it inspires me too, so. Thank you to everybody that inspires me. Like this little one. You inspire me, little one, to be a better father and husband. We're watching our friends, um, Nick and Ken. They're helping raise money for the Philippines. Uh, so in a few hours, we're gonna be live with them. Eating that leftover butternut squash soup. Got a little bit of green onion, a little cream, uh, chili oil. Juliana's munching on some bread. When it's closer to bedtime, she gets a little antsy and a little uh, whiny. And Judy's actually taping a video right now, so I got a little little mermaid on. Keep her at bay, hopefully, until she goes to bed. I finally recorded my hair extension video. I've worn it long enough, enough times for me to uh, do, not really a review, but kind of like a demo 
and I'm just glad I figured out a way for it to blend in nicely with my natural hair. So, I'm feeling fabulous. I always feel so awesome with hair extensions. Benji was awesome. He watched Juliana while I recorded and it was a pretty long video because I tried to explain in detail. Juliana's excited because she was just pulled out of her crib. Well, right now it's her nap time, but she was crying. She didn't want to go down. And I decided I'm not going to force her to go down because we're going to be going to Amy and Julian's for football night. And that's around the time that she does her second nap. So if we could keep her up, so that she has just one nap today rather than two, it might work out perfect. Look, we're on Google Plus with Soundly Awake and Ken's a dork. Yay, and Judy's here. Hello. And Benji. Oh, and Benji's here too. Yay. Oh, you know Ken's in November too. Oh, cool. His, his mustache looks similar to mine. <laughs> Benji had to trim the sides because it was getting functified. <laughs> Looking funky. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> do you like your mask, Juliana? Is she, that a yummy? I think she's yummy a little bread? confused. Because we just switched the screen, so now we're on the big screen. Now we're washing oh, okay. with heart. So uh, but what you guys are doing is amazing. I wish. Uh oh, did you pause it, baby? I could do stuff like this. I'm so parent. Stop pausing it. Now, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wipe your face, uh, Juliana. Good girl. At this point. Okay, now we got a vacuum because there's crumbs all over. I'm going to put the link down below of Ken's charity that he's doing. Uh, what is awesome about the money that he's raising is that it's going directly to the hands of his cousin who's going to distribute all of the goods firsthand and you, you get to see your money going towards um, like the food and clothing to other parts of the Philippines that were affected. Um, I think out just right outside of Tacloban. So I believe that's what they said. So I think that's so awesome. In fact, I want to donate to their charity. So I'm gonna do that here after I vacuum. And Juliana's already getting the vacuum ready for me. I swear, I caught her sweeping the floor with her hands. <laughs> She's wiping the floor. Good girl. Oh, my little helper, thank you. Mise en place. And you already know what I'm doing. Scalloped potatoes. This is uh, practice number two, and I'm actually switching it up. I'm not using bacon. I'm going to use some smoked ham, and I actually found organic smoked ham. Uh, I'm going to throw in some green onions just for some color. What else is new? I'm using fresh herbs today. I'm going to use my secret ingredient, of course. And um, also cayenne pepper just to give it a little bit of a kick. But you know what? I use so much white pepper that it doesn't really matter. Um, of course, you got to start it off with some white sauce. That's just a really fancy fancy way of doing scalloped potatoes. This will be my third variation on this recipe. Uh, I would love to make a video and hopefully I do make a video, but I would suggest just going to YouTube, watch like three or four different scalloped potato recipes and just kind of come up with your own. This is the thing about cooking. It's like an art. It's not a science. It's not exact. Some people like it more done. Some people like it less done, more crispy, less crispy. You know, like it's all on how you like it or how you remember it's supposed to be. Um, so practice makes perfect, literally. You get to make it the way you think it's supposed to be made. Juliana's down for her nap. Time for some cooking and bacon. And Benji's already got started. Benji's already got started. Did you see Benji's that? already Did started. Did you see that? I've been showing people oh, this is ooh. a white sauce. This is the consistency you might want. Wow. You should dip your finger and taste it. Very nice. Dip your finger and taste that. Okay. Oh, it's decadent. Decadent, yep. That's what it's supposed to you be. You can really taste the rosemary in it. Oh, good, good. I only have one piece in there, too. In Very fact, good. if that's the case, 
I should take those out. Shoot, so how am I supposed to make my banana bread? Well, how long, how long does it take? I told you, an hour. It takes an hour of what degrees? 350. Do you cover it? No. So you could cook it with me. This is totally, no, but you're cooking at 400. No, well, I'm saying I could lower the temperature. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So but I'm going to get started, started on my banana bread. Look how perfect these bananas are. In fact, I would have preferred them to be even more blackened because the more ripe they are, the most ideal it is. And this time with pineapple chunks, um, I think it was on my Twitter. Somebody left a Twitter message or tweet and said that they use this to keep the bread moist um, and probably one of the best flavors too. Socks, super dangerous. Uh, Pyrex just shattered in our dishwasher. Actually, to defend that name, it's not a Pyrex dish. It's a Pyrex knock. knock oh, it's a knockoff. <laughs> and we don't know when it shattered, but when I was unloading the dishwasher, it was just all in tiny little pieces. Ow. Oh my gosh. Careful now. It's been one hour since he put Ooh, banana bread. Look at that. Ooh, oh, that chunks of pineapple? Yeah. Is that Risen to the top? Is oh, that good? I don't know. Yeah. If that's good or not. Well, that looks, looks beautiful. Looks kind of wet inside, but I don't know, you know, if that's normal. Oh, oh, it's so moist. Oh my gosh. That smells amazing. I hope Please. it's good. Can you imagine when you put the butter next time? You can tell, look, like I know, the dough, I forgot to butter the pan. The dough stuck to the edge because Snapped. if there was butter, yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be crusted it. that would have been crusted and a little glossed over. Okay, so we're gonna shoot. I wonder if there's a difference if if you put like wet ingredients like that, if you're supposed to have it cook longer. How how wet? Did you add the juice too? No, no, no. No, Just I drained it. How much? I drained it. How many pineapples? Mm, maybe half a cup. Like a handful like this? Yeah. Okay, well, good I thing would... this is just an experiment. That would still well, be embarrassing because be we're perfect. still serving it. If it's not perfect today, mean. if it's a little too wet, then let it cook for you know, a five little or longer. ten more minutes. I should have checked online too. Oh well. She is, oh, she literally just kissed the fish tank. And that's how much she loves the fish. Yeah, is that a turtle? Oh! <laughs> so they're watching the football game. I guess the New England Patriots versus the Colorado Broncos, I think. <laughs> Is that tickle? You're just a little wiggly pup, aren't you? You're a wiggly pup. Hello, ring, ring, ring. Hello. No. 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 <laughs> She's like, whoa. <laughs> Is that high five? Did you high five Grampy? Then <laughs> <laughs> she's guarding the food table. <laughs> Whoa! Because <laughs> somebody walks in here and wants to take one of these carrots, I'll be right here. The Patriots, the Patriots are doing more than the Broncos do. The Broncos are 9-1. They've got their division. Amy is totally 100% Team Broncos and Julian's confused. <laughs> it's an express jacket. That's all. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> it's an express jacket, I swear. Yeah, it is, but you were in the Broncos it's, vin it's vintage Speaking express. It's vintage <laughs> Pineapple walnut banana bread on, is a huge success. Again. It's so yes. good. It's moist. Um, but I do think we have to cook it a little longer. But he put it in the oven like 10 minutes longer. But it's perfect. It's so Knock over. 
that bread was so good and I think it was so delicious that even the twins enjoyed it because they were kicking a lot. <laughs> they were just kicking a minute ago. I can't believe how freaking huge I am now. I am 22 weeks. If you look back on my pregnancy update with Juliana at 22 weeks, I was tiny. Like you could barely even tell I was pregnant. And with the twins, I look like I'm seven or eight months pregnant. Anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. A lantern. I need this too. What? Get that beam. Really? Yeah. Oh, look. What is that? It's a nose trimmer. A nose trimmer? But they don't but trim. But it's also a you personal know what's so funny? trimmer, so you can trim. Honey, everywhere. nowhere on. She has to bite from each apple.